Welcome back to another episode of History Bodied. We focus on the most interesting questions and topics surrounding the world that we live in. Our thought-provoking short documentaries will surely get you thinking, and you are coming back for more. Subscribe to the channel now and become part of the community, so you never miss any of our latest uploads. In this video, we will be looking at the history and culture of the beautiful country of Kenya. Let's get started with today's video. Kenya has a vivid and varied culture. From the stunning Maasai Mara 7 km outside Nairobi, inhabited by the majestic Maasai people, to the 39 other ethnic groups spread right across the country, once you decide to explore your new country, you'll relish the sights and sounds. At the end of the 15th century, in a climate of crusades, the Portuguese landed and took control of the traffic of gold. They re-embarked a century later, driven by Arab revolts. Amanis then exerted religious and commercial guardianship over Kenya. They developed the slave trade from Zanzibar and countries along the coast. In the 19th century, Europe unfolded again, and English control stifled German ambitions in the region. In 1890, the Heligoland Zanzibar Treaty defined two zones of respective influence in Eastern Africa. In 1895, British East Africa was established and spread across most of present day Kenya. Under British pressure, trafficking was abolished in 1873, traditional leaders were maintained, subject to the authority of the imperial administrators. Kenya was nevertheless a key ally during World War II. The Protectorate of Kenya became a colony in 1920. However, in 1952, the Mau Mau movement, originating from the Kikuyu people of Kenya, began an uprising against English colonists, which ultimately resulted in thousands of deaths and their defeat. The British then attempted to calm the situation by promoting the integration of Africans in the political administration of the colony. Parties multiplied, and the pressure for independence mounted. In 1960, the British gave way, and formal independence was declared in 1964. Kanu's Jomo Kenyatta formed the first government and became Prime Minister. In June 1982, the National Assembly amended the Constitution, making Kenya officially a one-party state, and parliamentary elections were held in September 1983 and by early 1992, several new parties had been formed, and elections were held in December 1992. In October 2002, a coalition of opposition parties joined forces with a faction that broke away from Kanu to form the National Rainbow Coalition NARC. In December 2002, the NARC candidate, Waikabaki, was elected the country's third president. The majority of the citizens of Kenya are Bantu, and then comes the populations of Nilotic origin and Cushitic. Kenya's minorities include Indians, Europeans, and Arabs. Around 75% of Kenyans belong to Christian churches, 10% are Muslim, and the remainder is split between animist and Hindu. Many people incorporate traditional beliefs into their practice of Christianity, which causes some tension between Kenyans and Christian churches. Religious traditions of different ethnic groups vary, but one common element is the belief in a spirit world inhabited by the souls of ancestors. The Kikuyu and several other groups worship the god and guy, who live on top of Mount Kenya. Kenya is the country to be in if you have a passion for conservation and wildlife. During the months of July to October, you'll be able to see one of the most extraordinary sights on the planet, the Great Migration, when thousands of wildebeest and zebras cross the Mara River. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video, all about Kenya and its history. Did you know about the culture of Kenya? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, make sure to leave us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to History Body, so you never miss out on taking a trip back in time with us to the most fascinating moments in human history. Thanks for watching, see you again soon in another video.